Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're here brewing uh, some, not Mardu, but Rakdos. Mardu was the last deck. Rakdos midrange, um, so trying out a couple of variants of decks. Um, so this deck is basically half removal, half immediate answer threats, or you lose the game. Um, so we have a removal package of Shock for early threats, cast down, uh, an Angrath's Rampage just to catch like one-off Planeswalker, stuff like Nisa, some Bedevils, some Vraska's Contempt, Ravenous Chupacabra, which also serves as removal, Eldest Reborn, and Bedek Bed Bedazzle. Um, in terms of our threats, we have Dreadhorde Butcher with Haste, Legion Warboss with Haste, Skargan Hellkite with Haste. So what I wanted to do here was really just have Little Teferi be disadvantageous against us as well as have abilities to threaten our opponent uh, immediately. So if you don't kill Dreadhorde Butcher, it gets really large. If you don't kill Legion Warboss, it creates an army, and then Hellkite is just a big flyer. We also have a Planeswalker Sweet main board of uh, Karn for card advantage. Uh, Liliana as kind of just a... Basically, Liliana and Chandra could win the game on their own, plus they have built-in removal. I also like how Chandra can't be countered. There's a lot of flash decks going around, so she's very well equipped to deal with their boards. Uh, the sideboard's basically situational removal, depending on the matchup. We have Duress versus Control, Noxious Grass versus Creature-based decks or Teferi decks, uh, Fry versus Teferi decks, Cry versus Aggro decks, Ritual of Soot versus kind of... A uh, little bit larger threats, and then two Angraths uh, versus um, either Control or I like it against the ramp matchups. You can steal their Hydroid Crasises. So we'll take it for a couple spins in uh, tr Ranked, see how it goes. We were trying out a Mardu's Angel list uh, before, just kind of seeing if it had any legs behind it. It was very poor like first game we played against esper tempo and it felt like we were playing a draft deck they just hero hero we didn't draw our timely removal and then just a series of teferis picked apart our deck the fact that none of the angels have haste seems really pr problematic and they're good when they're down but they don't have a lot of like etb effects okay so we'll keep this We can deal with if they have like an elf on one or something like that. Okay, so we have a play on two. Memorial Folly suggests they have creatures. Uh, it's a little awkward. Okay, so we have cast down. So we'll cast it down next turn. We intend to do this anyways, so let's fire this off now. Uh, missed the land, which sucks. We're going to double shock this. Mm. Okay, so they were on mono wild growth. There was a play to get rid of this one. Okay, perf. Uh, so... Can't Bedevil just yet, but we'll get Warboss going. Looks like opponent does have Cast Down in hand. Okay. So, no follow-up from our opponent. So, we got in a turn with Butcher. 
this becomes two power now. They do hit their second green, so Jade Light turns on. We are not drawing lines. We've managed to play quite a few spells. Okay, so now they're gonna get... A little out of control. I'm just gonna get Karn going here. This will help us get lands, most likely. Why does it do that so weird? Okay, so they give us the shock. No attacks here. They can block. We can block here and either kill the wild growth or shoot down the branch walker. Uh, if they attack us, that's fine. Okay, so we hit the land here. Let's just see what we get off. Okay, so they give us a Liliana. Question here. So we can Bedevil and Shock, which cleans up the board. And then either if we draw land, we can take that. Or if not, we can just Hellkite. End the turn. This lets Dread Horde get bigger. Opponent's drawn quite a few lions. Yeah. They see the writing on the wall. Okay. So in this matchup, we are playing a green base deck. So Noxious Grasp will come in. Ritual Soot's a good cleanup. And the Angraths are good of stealing like big creatures. Uh, we can probably get rid of the Eldest Reborn. Um, the war boss aren't good in this matchup. They gum up the board quite a bit. And probably shave down a Chandra. Uh, Dreadhordes at least can like trade. Just play it like that. Yeah, I think we go like that. Run it back. We can usually win the long game, or th like every one of our top end threats is a bomb. Uh, this hand's awkward. I think we mulligan. Okay, I'll keep this hand. Um, here, keep this, and I think we just put back one of the butchers. Gonna pay the two life here. In the event they have, like, a, a branch walker, we want to be able to shock it, so Dread Horde gets in right away. Got all the mana in the world at this point. Yeah, 
have an elf. Weird, they're keeping that on top. So we're just going to keep doing this to threaten our opponent's life total. So they have the Cruelty. Chandra's a nice follow-up draw, so we can go Hellkite. Ooh, double Hellkite's nice. Let's just haste this up. It'd be great if we could draw a line for next turn and then Chandra clean up the board. Doesn't deal with wild growth walker because her thing doesn't target elementals. Okay, so they had the cruelty. Um, yeah, I think we just do this. So, they can't play Jade Light Ranger, that'd be the only way they can kill it this turn. What a warm reception. So we'll emblem this up. Here I think... Do we... Give it the haste. I think we just give it the haste. We want to try to close out this game as quick as possible now. Let's see what the opponent does. Game back some life. They'll attack Chandra for two. But we'll just put another emblem on them. They'll kill Chandra this turn. But they have to have two removal spells for us. Yeah. Too little, too late. Run it back for another one, see how it goes. Let me know in the comments if you're playing any interesting decks right now. I'm trying to play some like off-meta decks. Kind of tired of playing Teferi-based decks or like Flash to some extent. We'll play first. Uh, like we need a red source. We go first. It's Mulligan. Okay, I like this hand a lot better. It's very aggressive. Gonna put the Chandra back here. So opponent also mulliganed. Okay, 
so... This can be a couple things. It can be as a Phoenix, as a Drake's teamer. So we're looking at elementals. I don't mind seeing that being used on Butcher because now we have a free war boss. We need to be mindful of Big Chandra, but. We have a cast down for Risen Reef if they have one this turn. Get that out of the way. Mentor this up. I think we just go pedal to the metal aggro here. This kind of forces them to have an answer. Yeah, because they're not going to get the Chandra this turn. Got him. That's what I like about this deck. In some matchups, you're the aggressor. Some matchups, you you're playing. Okay, uh, like control. So here we want noxious grasps for sure. Uh, ritual. So it gets some other stuff. So we probably want ritual. Mm, do we want Angrath? So the Eldest Reborn's not that good. Uh, on the... Probably get rid of these on the play. So I don't mind the Angrath. Crycarnarium's too narrow. This could get rid of Omnath, but we have enough like just direct kill Omnath stuff. Probably just shave down a Butcher, play another Angrath. First few turns I'm going to be killing stuff anyways. Run it like that. So the Butcher over War Boss there is because the Butcher at the very least will deal damage when it dies. This is a terrible hand. So we'll keep the six here, put back a swamp. Okay, so we're we're on the heavy removal plan. Hopefully draw them out. Elementals does draw a lot of cards typically, but we have a lot of answers for a risen reef. Um, I'm fine. I want to kill stuff that's an actual threat. Just put the Blood Crypt tapped. We're just going to cast down. Ooh, of note, cast down does not target Omnath. Okay, so a little awkward. So we're going to have to cast down the Leafkin. Overgrowth Elemental enters the battlefield with two 1-1 one, one counter, or with, sorry, put a 1-1 one, one counter on another target elemental you control. Whenever another creature you control dies, you gain one life. If that creature was an elemental, put it on that. Okay. So we should have probably killed that in response. Because now we can't shock this. 
Yeah, that was a misplay. We should have done it before. It's just Chupacabra at least is can start threatening them. We're gonna kill whatever they play. Okay, so they have the reef. That's good. So, on the very fringe chance they actually block. Just kill this in case they have a counter spell. so much removal like we've taken down three creatures and they still have five cards in hand okay so that's acolyte here Anyone need a fire started? No? Too bad. We can do this together. it's odd It's a lot of pressure on us, especially if they get another Risen Reef out. Okay, so we'd like a Planeswalker if possible. Liliana or Chandra. Even Angrath to be good to start tearing apart their hands. Karn, at least to give us some card draw. So we're gonna kill this. That makes sure Omnath can't kill our dude. All right. Liliana, Chandra, give me something. Yeah. Like Alright, so now we can start pressuring um she can do direct damage if need be. Exile whatever they play. Even if they have like three mana, Chandra got him. All right, well, played about four matches there, or sorry, two matches, four games. Got a feel for the deck. Um, gonna probably test a little bit more offline. I'll let you know if there's any other revisions. If you do enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe. Appreciate you watching, and have a great one.